So I am supposed to be filming I'm procrastinating and I'm kind of, yeah, just, I just can't get focused at all. And today, I took today off as in, I took, I took today off to do some work. <laughs> I took today off from uh, working one-to-one -one with people so that I could focus completely on getting all the interview stuff done that I need to do for introductions for things that I'm a part of. And I'm so, so grateful to be a part of these things. And oh my goodness, speaking to the camera and, you know, just being me and saying hello and sharing what I do and who I am and, and why I do it. And, you know, just really, really straightforward stuff, really, really straightforward stuff, appears to be like climbing up a mountain backwards for me. And then I, <laughs> after, a, after a very leisurely coffee, <laughs> stalling even more, I decided that I would have to sort out a studio and I began looking through loads and loads of art and thinking, should I just throw some of this stuff out? Is it going to just be sitting here forever? Um, why, am I, why am I not doing anything with this stuff? And then as I looked through all the stuff that I've made, because I make, I make loads of art, I make loads of art and, and I love doing that by the way and an hour and a half later <laughs> I was sitting there sifting through all that and I was just getting more and more distracted and more and more um, delaying really coming out here and tidying up my studio which was another delay <laughs> <laughs> to the filming. <laughs> not sure why I'm laughing. It's not ha ha funny. I'm laughing because it's like a little bit of hysteria. When will I ever get these things done? When am I ever going to just look at the camera, tell people who I am and what I do, and do the biz and edit it all and, and just get on with that stuff? I'm not sure of the answer. put it off and put it off and put it off as you can hear and I'm so so good at doing stuff other than talking directly to the camera I'm really really good at getting the biz done you know I show up for things I do what's required I create I create non-stop I I'm always creating something and I create because yeah, why do I create? Well, I create because I love it, but I create because I want to help, because everything I make helps people. So, yeah, so the intention behind all my creativity is to create something which will hopefully help those who participate to, well, to find themselves, to become more who they truly are. I'm driven, absolutely driven. I'm so passionate about this, this particular thing. Driven to help, driven, driven, driven. And, and that isn't about avoiding helping me because I have, I love therapy. I, I love going for therapy. I've been having therapy for years. And, and I have it, I have it because it helps me so much, you know, I'll go and I'll, I'll have coaching, I'll have therapy, I'll, 
um, put lots of new things in place and change and grow and then do a bit more. And all the time, um, you know, my ideas are just, they just never stop. I'm like, I don't mean that in a complaining way because I'm so grateful, so grateful. They never stop. My ideas flow constantly. And I'll have to, you know, stop what I'm doing for a minute to very quickly make a note of an idea. And, you know, that happened to me four or five times in a day. And once I start really getting into creating those ideas, you know, they really sprout and grow and become something more, more and more and more. So that I can share um, things that I've learned that have helped me with you because well I'm compelled to help I'm just it's in me to just I don't know what this thing is what is this thing I just I think I just want everybody to experience the amazingness that I have experienced I want to pass it on. I want other people to just, oh, yeah, I'm frazzling myself out here because I can't find words because I, I get a bit overwhelmed with the excitement of it all. There's just so much can come from growing and changing. It's too exciting. And I end up a bit frazzled, like a bit like this morning in a way, you know, I'm looking at all my art and thinking, oh, do this, could do that, I want to do this, I want to do that. But you're supposed to be going in the studio and sorting it out, tidying up to do some filming. Oh. So as you can hear, it's one of those kind of days. And it's, I guess it's just a day that it'll pan out however it pans out. Every now and again, I will have one of these kind of days. Full of contradictions, aren't I? Yes, yeah, so anyway, moving on to the studio and filming. So I came out here and felt very despairing because, well, I was doing the comparing and contrasting thing. I'd been looking at other people's uh, videos, other people who make art and teach art. So I'd been looking at their videos and seeing their backdrop behind them. And, you know, I mean, they're all, it's like pristine it's everything's cream and beige and space uh, very spacious and um, tidy <laughs> uh, I wouldn't really show you around here not such a from the waist down because <laughs> I am fully clothed but the studio is a mess I, it's full to the brim of stuff resources I've got loads of stuff in here and I need loads of stuff for me because I create a lot but I need loads of stuff in here for the people who come and create in groups and one-to-one -one in here. And it certainly isn't all cream and beige, there's a lot going on in here everywhere around. I've got hundreds of paintings in here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them all. I only sell some. I don't sell everything. Yeah, so I was comparing and contrasting and thinking, how can they have such clear spaces and tidy studios and all this cream and beige everywhere and neat and tidy? Everything's neat and tidy. <sighs> I've got all sorts of stuff everywhere but it's here for a reason it's here as a resource for creating and making art whether that's for me or for others 
So yeah, I thought, should I be having a nice cream beige background with all neat and tidy boxes and things stacked everywhere? I'm saying to myself, well, why would you even think like that, Cass? Why would you start trying to be something you aren't? And everything you do is all about being who we are. You know, I go out of my way to help people become their most truest self. So why would I try and create some sort of creamy beige background that's fake for me? This is who I am. Colour and chaos and busyness and um, lots and lots of creativity and making. That is, that is the truth of who I am. And it doesn't matter what I do. I was the same as a florist. You know, I did loads of weddings. I was, I was so busy, I hardly slept. I was creating all sorts of very unique wedding flowers all the time. I was so happy, I was so happy. I love, I love being who I am. So yeah, all this stuff's been going on and on and on inside my mind. And, and now I'm here chatting on cam. This is a kind of practicing in a way of, you know, talking on cam, but just psyching myself up to be myself and be me so that, you know, I, I share the truth of who I am. And then I came in here to look at my chaotic, colourful, wild studio started working on this and actually so I've been painting this tree this is the mama tree I've been painting this since about 2017 I might be finally finished this 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 may well be the very final layers so this has been all about my childhood my relationships my all the generational stuff everything 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 that I've uh, experienced in my younger years is in here under layers and I realized well quite last late last night I realized that I've I've been trying to probably take the biggest and saddest and most traumatic a story of my life and make it pretty and it wasn't pretty so how could I do that either you know I'm I'm just I'm, I'm not being true to me if I do that so this is the truth of it all everything that's in here and underneath all the layers this is the truth of all of that I think I was trying to make something very, very sad into something that uh, looked acceptable and attractive and pretty and all of that. And it just needs to be how it really is. And that's what this is. Maybe to say, oh yeah, I do that stuff too. I procrastinate and I don't want to be seen. And yeah, I try and make everything neat and tidy and pretty and all of that. So I am going to say farewell. And I think I might be ready to film one of my interviews. Who knows? Okay. I hope you're okay. I haven't asked how you are. I haven't asked what you're doing today. I haven't asked anything about you. And I would like to know if you would like to share. Please do. You might be in one of my groups. Say hello. <sighs> okay. I am going to start. Thank you. <laughs>